Sharon Angle, uh, she won the Republican primary in Nevada. She's going to go up against Harry Reid for the Senate seat, right? Uh, she beat Sue Loudon, who was an establishment candidate, but who talked about chickens way too many times. And she, she was the girl who was like, hey, you know what? You can trade in a chicken and get, get, get treatment for breast cancer. Okay, that doesn't make no kind of sense. That put her in trouble. They did the chicken ads, and down she goes. Now, it turns out Sharon Angle uh, is a beneficiary. She's the Tea Party candidate. So now a lot of people are getting on her for her wacky beliefs. So let's break them down. I'm going to give you six beliefs of hers real quick. First, they say that she appeared in a Scientology uh, prisoner rehabilitation video. They get on her for two things. One, the Scientologist made it so you shouldn't have been involved. Two, uh, it's trying to rehabilit rehabilitate prisoners. Uh, and conservatives are saying that's unacceptable. I don't know if other people are saying it. Uh, she's soft on crime. Okay. Not guilty. Okay. I, just because she appears in a Scientology video doesn't mean she's a Scientologist. Rehabilitating prisoners is a perfectly fine uh, thing to make a video about. No. Not buying it. Number two, they say that she's against fluoride. She is. She says it gets it's in the drinking water and it's causing problems. She's not buying it. She wants to take it out of the, the drinking water. Now, the CDC says, quote, For 65 years, community water fluoridation has been safe and healthy way to effectively prevent tooth decay. CDC has recognized water fluoridation as one of the 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. Okay, now they're going a little crazy if you ask me. Okay, but apparently they think fluoride in the water is perfectly good. In fact, it's very positive. So it appears that Sharon Angle is not on the side of the facts there. My ruling, not guilty. Okay, don't care, not a big deal. Okay, she doesn't like the fluoride, fluoride in the water. Who cares? Not a big deal. No. Okay, now let's get to juicy stuff. Uh, she has apparently told uh, Liberty Watch magazine in February of 2010 uh, that uh, making alcohol consumption illegal should be considered. Guilty. <laughs> okay. I don't even have to say anything more. Okay. Nevada. Nevada. Las Vegas. You want to make alcohol consumption illegal? Okay, we move on. Uh, she has also said uh, that uh, she uh, supported a, a theory of linking breast cancer with abortion. You know this old pro-life craziness where they uh, claimed that there was a scientific link between uh, abortions and breast cancer? Something that never, ever made any sense. The minute I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's not true. Okay, And of course, we find out they do many studies on it, and uh, not even close to true. So now we're getting into some serious issues here because she's trying to mislead people uh, and going with very questionable science. In fact, not science, the opposite of science, opposite of facts. And you know what? It, it could really cause some harm to people who, you know, if, if they, you know, don't do what they normally would have done for medical reasons because they're convinced they're going to get breast cancer. We can't have it. <laughs> Guilty. Okay. Now, we get into, now that's, uh, the alcohol thing I hadn't heard before, the breast cancer thing is like crazy right-wing stuff, but we've heard it before. Now this one, man, she's going real old school. Uh, she says that it's wrong for both parents to actually hold jobs simultaneously, that it's bad for the family. Quote, right now we say in traditional home, one parent stays home with the children and the other provides the financial support for that family. That is the acceptable and right thing to do. If we begin to expand that, not only do we dilute the resources that are available, we begin to dilute things like health care, retirement, and all the things offered to families that help them be a family. So, uh, if your husband's working and you've got kids, uh, get your ass back home. Okay. Now, if you don't have enough money to pay your mortgage, well, that's a sad day for you, uh, but that's just the way it goes. You've got to be home. Uh, I guess what? Move into a smaller home? I don't know what it is. Uh, or your wife is working. I mean, she didn't say it had to be the woman, right? Or your wife is working, and she's got a nice job, uh, and uh, you're doing something else because you need to pay the bills, etc. Nope. Bring your ass home, take care of the kids. Okay, because you know why? Sharon Angle is going to decide what's right for your family. You don't get to make that decision. Sharon Angle does. <laughs> Guilty and kooky. Okay, now, here's the one that actually makes me the angriest. Uh, it's... Uh, one that not a lot of people are talking about, but I, it's the most substantive. So somebody asked her uh, this question. Uh, you've been in support of uh, onshore drilling in the United States as well as offshore drilling. Are you rethinking that policy with what is going on in Louisiana? And here's part of her answer. 
we have oil reserves and petroleum reserves that we should tap into. And that's a policy that we really need to look at as a nation. How do we deregulate enough to invite our industries to come back into the United States and quit outsourcing their business? Most guilty. Because her idea about offshore drilling, even after this disaster is, no, we need to deregulate more so that we can invite companies to come and do this again. Okay? We need to invite their businesses over here, and the way we do that is we don't have any control on them. Now, who out there really thinks the best idea is to invite more companies like BP to do offshore drilling with no regulation? Oh, safety checks. Don't worry about that. No, deregulate. Let the companies go rough for shod. It's not like it would ever cause a problem. That's the problem with Republican philosophy and libertarian philosophy and Tea Party philosophy. They don't get it. The government shouldn't do everything, but it has to do something. We shouldn't, we're not anarchists. We need to cop on the beat, whether that's literally on the street or it's regulators looking over Wall Street or these oil companies to make sure that they don't poison us like what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Guilty. And now, look, Harry Reid, uh, of course, is ecstatic that he's running against Sharon Angle. Uh, he thinks she, uh, that she's going to be a lot easier to beat. That might be true. Don't get giddy, okay? I mean, look at what happened to Bill Halter. Everybody thought he was going to win, and how'd that turn out, right? Didn't turn out very well. So uh, I hope Harry Reid doesn't let up at all. Now, look, now they got me rooting for Harry Reid. 